Geraldine McLaughlin, we're starting today with everybody to give a shout out for your club and tell us what you do for a living. I play for Terman GE and I work in a leisure centre. Do you want to mention the leisure centre? I in the Clannery Hotel. All right, as in the sponsors on the Donegal jersey, okay. And what would you say to supporters from Terman and indeed all over Donegal about coming down to this game? It's a long journey, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, like I hear there's a lot, there's a lot of coaches coming down from Donegal, but I just encourage more people like um, the promotion of like ladies football is great and like you're guaranteed probably a good game and plenty of scores like we're not like the men's that maybe <laughs> maybe it's defensive like but you're guaranteed good scores and plenty of them and you know what this venue is like to create a great atmosphere here oh yeah definitely and the bigger crowd the better the game's gonna be and like when you like even when you hear like if a girl gets a block and like the crowd gets behind the team and it's all about who gets the biggest crowd nearly to you like what has happened for Donegal to come up in the space of 12 months to be in the Division 2 final here last year to be in the Division 1 final this year what's made that happen? We're always good enough like, but uh, it's just commitment and hard work this year like girls like Michael said start of the year like you're either 100% in the whole year or you're not like and all the girls bought into it and I was pretty much in, like from the start of the year like it was just pretty much that like we went to train hard work and commitment You're getting a bit of a name for yourself now for scoring four goals for some reason <laughs> in games but you don't seem to be the sort of player who gets intimidated no matter what the stage is. No, you can't really. Like, when you go training every night, like, you can't really take the credit when you see other girls working as hard as you and if not working harder, like, because, like, I, that's my job. It's probably to score and that's my job. But, like, girls in the back line, their job's to defend and maybe they don't get as much credit as they should be because they're keeping out the goals and our job is to probably score the goals. But what is your approach when you're on the pitch? Say when you're 14 yards out, do you get a ball? When you get a ball, I mean, do you think goal right away? Oh, you just have to. Just every ball is different. Like if you get a wee bit of space, maybe you might try and hope for the best. Like, but oh no, like you always look at your options too. Like, but you can never tell till you get the ball what you're going to do with it. Well, could I ask you then who your role model role model might have been down the years, whether it's in. Gaelic football, where it's men's, ladies, or even in other sports. I mean, who would you have watched when you were young and thought, you know, I like that? Um, probably Colin Cooper, or Robbie King. Like, I love how like Colin Cooper, like his movement even off the ball, like it's just it's something like you look up to, like you don't even see his scores, like, but just his movement and how he gets it, like, and he just makes it look so easy. And Robbie King? Oh yeah, like um, when we're in back garden when we're younger, that's all we done is probably soccer more than Gaelic, and I uh, and when probably World Cup was on that time and we were all watching so and just finally I suppose it should go back to how important this game is for Donegal and the buzz that's being created obviously from being in the very first final yeah it's massive like it being in Division 1 final like something you dreamt of like and we're playing Cork like and when I was younger I was always looking up to them thinking like be class to be playing them even but like to be playing them in the final to be the high standard of where they're playing like it's just something you dreamt of since you were a child it sounds like you're proud to be captain, you're proud to be here with Donegal and you're also proud of ladies football, that's coming through strongly as well, you're proud of the game and the way it's promoted and the occasion that this will be. Yeah, it's massive, like a couple of years ago you probably wouldn't get all this, like you'd probably just go out game as any other game, Like, but being like a big buzz around the final is just something special Like, and the promotion now even with Lidl's, like, they're just massive, like everywhere you go it's always promoting ladies football and, and the stores is always promoting like so it's great to see